Good afternoon from the parking lot of Animal Kingdom here at Disney. I wanted to start the video out here in the parking lot because I wanted to point out how far away I had to park because the parking lot is packed. I had parked out in Peacock 16 and the, all of the rows up in front of me are full and I think it's going to be a very busy day out here. I wanted to check on Primeval World, see how that's doing. I know they are tearing it down. We don't know anything else about it. I just want to see the progress of tearing it down. I wanted to get a better look at the golden statues that we didn't get to really get a good look at the last time we were here for Kite Tales. And we also got the announcement of what attractions are part of Genie Plus and which are considered the individual Lightning Lane purchases here at Animal Kingdom. So we're going to check on that and uh, kind of go around and just have a look at Animal Kingdom. We're at Animal Kingdom. Oh, and also it's lunchtime. So there are a lot of new food options for the 50th at all four parks and all the resorts. So we're going to be checking on some of the food options here at Animal Kingdom. Oh, what are we going to ride? What are we going to do? I found a lot of food in the app and I'm excited for it. First stop, we're going to have a look at some of the golden statues, the Fab 50 golden statues that we didn't get to get a good look at the last time we were here. So we're going to start up at the Tree of Life and just to the right over here, just across from the Discovery Trading Company entrance, we see Nemo and Dory. The detail in this one's pretty intense too. So the coral. I really like their eyes. They're very expressive for statue eyes. Still just to the right of the Tree of Life, you can kind of see Dorian Nemo over there. And we've got Timon and Pumbaa and Simba. These look very nice. And now we're going to go kind of across from them. You can see Bambi over there. Let's go get a closer look at Bambi just past those PhotoPass photographers. Over here we've got Bambi and of course Thumper down underneath him. And I need to look and see. That's one thing that's not in the app. It just kind of says like there are statues around but they don't tell you exactly where they are. So I just need to double check and make sure that that's all of them. But I think it may be all of them. Yeah, that's it. There's only four golden statues here at Animal Kingdom. I feel like there, there should be more, right? But I guess not. There were only 50 across the entire resort. There's a lot at Magic Kingdom. Four here. There's quite a few at, at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And then like something like five at Epcot. So it's, it's kind of like weird how they spread them out. But yeah, if you want to see some, there's four here. And they're all right in front of the Tree of Life. All right, let's head back into Pandora and have a look at the wait time for Flight of Passage. The interactive misting plant is back open. So this plant, you can kind of see the Navi have ripped it open. And what happens is if you kind of rub on the inside of it enough, it will then send its spores out. Let's see if I can get it to do it. It's kind of dripping all over me. Oh, it's happening. It's, it's sporing right there. Do you see it? I'm causing all the spores to spray out. And for a while, oh yeah, the top one, if you kept doing it enough, it would come out the very tippy top out there. But this was closed for the longest time due to COVID. Now it's back open. Came over by Navi River Journey because I wanted to check on the wait time. 40 minutes, not bad at all. You can see the lightning lane sign there because this is one of the rides that is included in your $15 per day per person purchase of Disney Genie Plus. The other ride in Pandora is Pandora Flight of Passage and you can see it does have a lightning lane sign. But this lightning lane, you will have to purchase a la carte. It is considered one of the individual Lightning Lane attraction purchases and not included in your $15 per person per day purchase of Disney Genie Plus. And you can see right now, it is already a 90 minute wait on a busy day with no Lightning Lane activity at all. So you can understand why they picked this one as an a la carte and not to be included in the Disney Genie Plus because if it was included, it would just make the wait time super long. So now we are headed out of Pandora and we're not going to go back in the entrance that we came in over there. We're going to head this way, which kind of leads us towards Africa and Festival of the Lion King, just because the Flight of Passage line goes down here and I kind of want to see how far it goes. So we are almost down to where Festival of the Lion King is. It's just on the other side of this bridge, sort of like other side of this bridge around the corner. And this is the end of the line for Avatar Flight of Passage right here, almost into Africa. Side note, this right here is the best spot to watch the flotillas come by. They did just announce that character meet and greets are going to be returning starting in November, but they also said that the flotillas 
and the cavalcades are not stopping when that happens. So the whole reason that I love this spot for seeing the flotillas is that it's not a very big passageway. So this is the closest that you can get to the characters as they come by and you're in the shade. Speaking of a flotilla, I think I hear one coming now. Looks like we got Rafiki and Timon. And you'll get a good idea of how close they come to you as they pass by. I like how animated Timon is compared to Rafiki. There is Festival of the Lion King. There's the, the flotilla that just passed by us. And that's the bridge that we were underneath. And the Flight of Passage line ended just past that. We're really far from Avatar. And speaking of Festival of the Lion King, this is one of the attractions that will be available with Lightning Lane with a Disney Genie Plus purchase. So just to give you guys some of the wording that I'm gonna be using throughout this video to try to save some time, anytime that it is the $15 per day per person purchase, I'm gonna call that Disney Genie Plus because that's what it is called. But just every time that I say Disney Genie Plus, that is that specific thing that I'm talking about. If I just say Disney Genie without the plus on the end of it, that's the free option. That's like a planning type thing, a uh, touring plan where you put in a lot of information. You like thrill rides, you like princesses, you like uh, animals, uh, and it will give you a plan based on the lowest wait times so that you can save time and get on as much as possible based on Disney's metrics. So Disney has been keeping track of that sort of thing for years on years, like wait times, historic wait times, things like that and it will give you the best bang for your time as far as getting through as many rides as possible without purchasing the $15 a day per person Disney Genie Plus. Now, if I say individual Lightning Lane attraction, that is the a la carte option that is not included in Disney Genie Plus. You can still go to that ride and ride it in standby wait time and those rides are also included in the free version of Disney Genie, so they could give you like a time to go to flight of passage that is a low wait time like lower than 90 minutes it'll still probably be high but you'll wait the least amount of time that day for that ride based on disney's metrics so this is like i said it's confusing so i'm going to be trying to give you as much information as possible before it launches on october 19th because once october 19th happens we're going to be kind of using it and we will get our hands on on it but right now i'm trying to get as much information out there as possible about it because I know that it's a confusing thing. There's another flotilla coming. Let's see who it is. Oh, it looks like it's Donald and Daisy and Launchpad. I love that they're jamming out to this song. So with the regular version of Disney Genie, that includes every ride. However, you will not go into any Lightning Lane lot lines using the free version of Disney Genie, but it could pick from any ride in the park. So you could still ride Flight of Passage. However, you just go through the normal standby line, but Disney Genie would pick a time that is a short standby wait for you. Make sense? So on the back side of Tusker House, you can see they've got this tape on the ground, these stanchions. This is the extended queue for the safari, which was a surprise to us. And the surprise wasn't that the extended queue goes all the way out there behind Tusker House. It was that the Lightning Lane is not one of the individual Lightning Lane attractions. It is included in Disney Genie Plus. So if you pay the $15 per person per day, you can book a Lightning Lane for Safari, which is traditionally one of the longer waits in the park. Here's something that changed since the last time that we were here. Up, a great bird adventure is now called Feather Friends in Flight. Same show, except for I don't think it has the Up characters in it anymore. Another interesting fact about Genie and Genie Plus is that Genie Plus does include shows, so there is a lightning lane for Feathered Friends in Flight. And that can be included in Genie Plus, in your purchase of Genie Plus. Somebody write down this phone number. I've got too many complaints about elephants. Seems like we still have some signage for Up A Great Bird Adventure over here, but they haven't taken down yet. It is looking like it's seen better days. Maybe this is the theming, like this is an old show poster. Over here, Drink Walla, they have something for the 50th that looks really interesting. I think it'll do good for Instagram photos. And it's this, the Mickey Premium Bar that is dipped in a blue, I don't know what it is, what is this dipped in? A blue raspberry flavored coating with celebration sprinkles and a little bit of pixie dust. $6.69, how much is a regular, does it say? Oh no, I guess you can't just, you can't just get a regular Mickey Premium Bar here. I think Mickey Premium Bars are $6? I'm gonna find one and we'll find out how much a regular Mickey Premium Bar is. They are getting ready to do Kite Tails, you can see. 
They're just preparing the blue kite right there. Just passing by a sign for Kali River Rapids because the line is very long. You can see there's another themed sign over here. There's another one with a lightning lane that will be available with your Disney Genie Plus purchase. There it is. The price of a Mickey Premium Bar is $6, so to get it dipped is only 70 cents more. That's not a bad deal. In about five minutes, Kite Tales is going to start. And look, you can see them filling up the King Louie balloon. Kind of looks like they just have leaf blowers, and that's how they fill them up. That's interesting. Speaking of Kite Tales, they have their own Kite Tales Sunday. This is something that I think is really kind of strange, is that it has the Disney Dining Plan emblem next to it. But this is a brand new sign. Like, they had to make this sign specifically because Kite Tales just came out. So does that mean that the Disney Dining Plan will be returning soon? Here's what the strangest thing to me was, that Expedition Everest is an individual Lightning Lane purchase. So there are two in this park, and one is Flight of Passage, which right now has a 90 minute wait, and Expedition Everest, which has a 55 minute wait. Only five minutes longer than the wait for Kali River Rapids. So Kite Tales is about to start, and the whole reason that I came down here was to watch just a little bit of the show, because one of the things that I thought was so interesting about it is how they land the kites. And I sat right next to the landing area here, and you can see they have protective padding over top of the seats so that they can land the kites here and make sure that they don't damage them. So a cast member came over to me and told me, just so you know, the actual official seating area for Kite Tales is over there, and you can see it's pretty packed. But I wanted to sit over here because I want to be close to the landing zone. All right, here comes Blue. There he is. I feel like the cast members that are flying the kites are specifically trying their hardest to get the kites stuck somewhere. So like, the kites that are in the water right now, they literally just like dove them. Watch this, look at this. They're like diving them in between the trees. Yeah. And just like that, Baloo is pretty much contained. Here he comes. And away he goes. Cheering them on. Where does Louie land? Oh! Here he comes. He looks like he's in such pain. So this is the main seating area for Kite Tales. It's across from where Finding Nemo the Musical used to be. And I was sitting kind of just over there a little bit. So if you want to watch where they land the kites, it's over there. Oh my goodness, this is wild. Looking over at Primeval World, you can see there is some sections missing from over here, but this side is completely gone. There's just nothing there except for like backhoes and cranes and stuff. Oh my goodness, we can see through the scrim because it's daylight out. It's just a mess back there of like tangled metal. Holy macaroni. I don't know if you guys can see in there. Wow, I don't know if this is in focus because I'm like focusing through the scrim. You guys can get the idea of just what a mess of tangled steel it is, right? Man, it is just so wild to see this. There's no announcement of anything, and it's just getting torn down. It's been closed for a while, but yeah, they're just they're getting rid of it. I was standing outside of Chester and Hester's Dinosaur Treasures, and I saw something neat just inside the door, and I wanted to show you all. They have some of the 50th merch, but also they have this 50th sign here that's made out of bottle caps. Look at that. Fits the theming of Dino Land perfectly. Even the dinosaur in the middle of the store is wearing your hat from the Vault Collection and the shirt from the Vault Collection. Look at that. I bought that shirt. Funny thing is they're not selling this shirt in here. 
I don't understand why not. Back here by Dinosaur, and this is another Lightning Lane attraction that can be selected using Genie Plus. Up next, they're stopping off at Restaurantosaurus for lunch. I didn't realize they had this sign up here that says Home of the Impossible Burger. And what we got from Restaurantosaurus was Walt's Main Street Fried Chicken Sandwich, a crispy fried chicken breast on a warm brioche bun finished with pickles, lettuce, tomato, and roasted garlic aioli. I mean, that sounds like just a normal chicken sandwich with just some garlic aioli on it. Let's give this a try. Where we got garlic, ooh, the garlic aioli is very nice. It is oozing out of the sides now. Now let's give it a try here. And the chicken's a little bit dry, and it's a very thin patty, too. But it does have a good flavor, like that garlic aioli is a nice flavor, and like the fried chicken itself is a good flavor. At the same time, it seems like there's nothing elevated about it. Like it's just a chicken sandwich that they serve at Restaurantosaurus, and they put Walt's name in front of it. Like that's it. I don't think it has anything to do with Walt or the 50th, but it's just like this is part of the 50th celebration. I mean, it's, it's a good flavor, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, they literally just put Walt's name in front of a chicken sandwich and said it was for the 50th anniversary. So, just a normal chicken sandwich. It has a good flavor to it, but there's nothing extra about it. And this was $10.99, and it came with some french fries. This is just like typical theme park food to me. One of the last spots that has a lightning lane for Genie Plus is It's Tough to Be a Bug. And the whole reason that I wanted to show you guys that, that It's Tough to Be a Bug has a lightning lane is that Disney has said that they will not sell out of Genie Plus for the day. So no matter what, no matter what time you show up at Walt Disney World, you can buy Genie Plus for that day, $15. However, individual Lightning Lane reservations can sell out. So that means that if you show up at the end of the day thinking, all right, I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna buy a, a Genie Plus, and that way I can get on Killer's Manjaro Safaris and also uh, Navi River Journey, that might not be the case. You might show up at the end of the day, spend your $15, and then know that it's tough to be a bug is the only thing that's left, is the only reservation for Lightning Lane that's available that day. So, I don't know that Genie Plus would be a good thing to buy late in the day. So like if you're coming first thing in the morning, yeah, 100%. Buy it, $15 a day per person, then you can do, do like your Lightning Lanes and get through as many rides as you want to as quickly as possible. Another thing to note is that you can only ride each ride once. So, once you go on Kilimanjaro Safaris, not Kilimanjaro, yeah. Once you go on Kilimanjaro Safaris, or once you make a Lightning Lane reservation for Kilimanjaro Safaris, and then you ride it, that's the only one for Kilimanjaro Safaris that you can make for that day. You can make one for another one, like Navi River Journey, but then once you go on Navi River Journey using the Lightning Lane, you cannot make another Lightning Lane reservation for Navi River Journey that day. So, a couple of little caveats that we just learned about uh, Genie Plus and Lightning Lane. Same thing with the uh, individual attraction lightning lanes. You can only purchase two of those a day. No matter what park you're in, you can only purchase two. So say you come over here to Animal Kingdom and you buy an individual lightning lane attraction pass for Flight of Passage, and then you're like, oh, okay, I also wanna ride Expedition Everest. You buy the individual lightning lane for Expedition Everest, that's it. If you park hop over to Magic Kingdom, you cannot get an individual lightning lane for Space Mountain and it's not, not on Genie Plus. So you cannot use another individual lightning lane after you buy two of them. All right, up next, Creature Comforts, which is the Starbucks coffee location here at Animal Kingdom. This is what I'm looking for right here. The Mickey Mouse Stone. Mickey Moose Stone? I like that. We could also get this Celebration Cupcake or this Colossal Cinnamon Roll, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the Celebration Moose Stone. This is chocolate brownie base with gold dusted chocolate sprinkles and birthday cake flavored mousse with gold dusted Mickey ears and a gold dusted 50th anniversary medallion. And this was $7.99. Here's a look at the cross section. You can see the birthday cake mousse on the top and the brownie on the bottom. And then the blue shell is actually hard. And I'm kind of thinking that's probably what that Mickey premium bar was dipped in is whatever this blue shell is here. I don't know if you guys could hear that train whistle in the last clip, but the train is the last, oh my gosh, Mickey and Minnie are coming by. Oh, there they go, oh, they waved at us for a second. So yeah, so the, the train whistle that you just heard is the train that leads over to Rafiki's Planet Watch. That is the last place on the list of Lightning Lane attractions that are on Genie Plus, and that is the Animation Academy 
over at Rafiki's Planet Watch. So that's it. That's all. We went to all of the places that have Lightning Lane and that are available for Genie Plus and for individual Lightning Lane attractions, purchases. It's, it's all so complex. And I think that this is just the way it's going to be is like every time that I come, I'm going to try to explain it. A There's like a creature in the bushes next to me that just made a lot of noise. I don't know what it was. It's not in one of the habitats. Like back there is a tortoise habitat. This is just wild Florida. Um, it might have been a lizard. So uh, I'll be talking about it as I come to Florida. Like, or Sorry, I'm distracted by what's in the bushes. I'll be talking about it as I come to Disney each and every time, kind of explaining it more and more so that hopefully it will make most like it'll make sense when you come on vacation to Walt Disney World and you're interested in doing the Lightning Lane or the Genie Plus. All right, let's give this a try. Okay, I didn't get any of the actual blue dome, but I did get a little bit of brownie and a little bit of birthday cake. That's good. I will say the brownie is good and the birthday cake and the brownie together are good, but the birthday cake on its own kind of tastes like blue cotton candy, which is weird, but that's what it tastes like. So. If you get this, be sure to get everything in one bite, unless you like blue cotton candy. Maybe then sure, just try the birthday cake part on its own. But it is, it's a pretty delicious thing. And it looks nice. It's very Instagrammable. Super sweet. How we doing on wind? It got kind of windy. Super, super sweet. But, and kind of expensive, right? The brownie itself is a very fudgy brownie. Look, can you guys see the like the gold sprinkles? Let me see if I can hide my face. The gold sprinkles on it. But it's a very, very fudgy brownie. Happens to be my favorite kind of brownie is a fudgy brownie. Yeah, this is enjoyable. I would suggest you get this when you come. Maybe not the chicken sandwich, but this for sure. And the other thing that I like about it is that this is that it's like themed to the 50th. Like it's blue. There's nothing about that darn that chicken sandwich and uh, don't get me wrong the chicken sandwich was tasty like it wasn't terrible it wasn't bad but there just wasn't anything special about it and like if it's the 50th anniversary I think there should be something special about that chicken sandwich but then again Walt was a simple man so maybe he just loved like a nice simple chicken sandwich and that's what they're giving us all right let's head into Discovery Trading Company see if there's any merch for the 50th I was looking around the store and I haven't found anything for the 50th yet but I did find in the Halloween section Happy Hulkoween! That's fun. $25, and I think this is a kid's shirt. It's a US small child, right? Ch Child's UK small. I don't know, I think it's a kid's shirt. So I didn't see anything for the 50th in Discovery Trading Company. So I'm gonna head over to Island Mercantile. Oh, there it is. Not a huge selection, but they do have some of it. Well, there certainly wasn't a lot in there for the 50th, but at least they had a little something. Still trying to find like a nice shirt for Jackson for the 50th. I haven't found anything that I like yet. But we're going to keep looking. He's teamed up with an organization called the World Parachutes to breed and release blue-throated macaws back out into the wild so that one day we can hopefully see a sky filled with parrots. Wouldn't that be amazing to see a sky filled with macaws? Yeah, well all you have to do is just look up. Ah! <laughs> Wow, wasn't that a sight worth protecting? Definitely. They just go straight back this way. They're like, bye, we're out of here. These guys are like, we're gonna go the other way around. So there you have it, that was our trip out to Disney's Animal Kingdom to check on some stuff for the 50th anniversary. We got to watch Kite Tales and we got to watch the kites do their landings. They're not, crash they're not crashing the kites, they are landing them in the stands. Uh, we got to see some of the destruction of Primeval World. We got to taste some food. It was a great day. We also talked about Genie and Genie Plus. I do have to say, I think one thing that's being overlooked in all of this that I'm really excited to try is just Genie by itself. The planning tool, Genie, where I will put in interests in what park I want to go to and then have Genie plan my day and see how it goes. Because I do think that Genie will help out a lot of people when it comes to getting the most out of their day at the park. And that is the free offering. So that's one thing that I am very excited to try. Everything else just seems like fast pass used to be but you're just paying for it now so all in all a fantastic day and with that being said we are off we'll see y'all tomorrow i'm chris and i'm alicia and we're from ohio 
And now, and now it's, it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.